Welcome to Barcode of the Week. This week we are covering the PDF 417 barcode. The barcode was invented in 1991 and is a stacked or multi row barcode that has variable length and is bi directionally decodable. It is the most widely used 2D barcode because of its accurate and inexpensive storage. The PDF 417 code is utilized in logistics, transportation, identification, inventory, and document management. The code is able to encode all of 128 ASCII characters as well as the extended characters. The PDF 417 2D code has an error correction level with a rating between 0 to 8 with 8 being the maximum. AIM recommends a minimum level of 2. The PDF 417 code has high data capacity and it can encode over 1 kilobit of data. The main features of the code are threefold. The first is the ability to link to other symbols fitting systems. The next feature is that the user is able to specify the X and the Y dimensions of the code. The third feature is being able to implement a system without having a license. The PDF 417 barcode is limited to 30 columns and 90 rows. Now looking at the barcode, we have a quiet zone on both the left and the right hand side of the code. The start character is the first one on the left after the quiet zone and we have a stop character which is on the right hand side before the quiet zone. A start and a stop character helps scanners and software decode the pattern. The left row indicator comes right after the start character. The left row indicator has code words which is a group of bars and spaces that represent numbers, letters, and symbols. A code word might include a row number or the error correction rate. Each row within the code has the same number of code words, which is four bars and four spaces. The width of a code word is 17 times the width of the X dimension. A code word is printed using clusters. A cluster is a bar space pattern for each code word. The pattern is never repeated between clusters, and the row determines which cluster should be used as there's three different options for clusters. The main purpose of a cluster is to determine which row the code word is located in. Now what does the PDF 417 mean? The PDF stands for the portable data file. The number 4 stands for the 4 bars and 4 spaces within the code word. The number 17 stands for the 17 times the width of the X dimension. Now that we have a basic understanding of the PDF 417, we're going to go into nice label to create the code. The first thing I will do is select the barcode icon on the left toolbar. I'm going to drop it on the label. I'm going to click on the barcode to make sure we have the correct type, which we do. And then I'm going to enter in the item number. And before we create it, I'm going to define the code. And when we define the code, we have the option to increase or decrease the Y or the X expansion factor. We also can change the security level. And remember, AIM recommends a minimum level of 2. We can truncate the barcode if we like. And we also could select the aspect ratio. Now that my barcode is ready, I'm going to hit OK. And here it is. Here's the PDF 417 barcode. Thank you for watching our video. The next Barcode of the Week segment will cover the Aztec barcode.